Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile Auto Repair Channel and today I have a, a 2010 Toyota Camry and it has the 2.5 liter engine and this vehicle is e equipped with the U760E 6 speed automatic transmission and Today I just wanted to do a, uh, a follow-up uh, video from one of my previous videos in which I did the transmission service on this vehicle. I just wanted to show you on how to properly check the, the fluid level. So uh, first things first, uh, I'm using a, a leveler gauge to make sure that the vehicle is on on level ground or close <laughs> to level ground you want to make sure it's as close as possible to zero uh, you may not be able to get it a hundred percent this is a 1.15 degrees which is okay now it's 1.1 i have the vehicle I lift it up off of the ground uh, all four wheels so I'm uh, I'm happy with this this is close to one degree close to zero degrees so it, uh, it should be uh, okay so I have the vehicle uh, off the ground it's almost uh, pretty much uh, leveled now I'm checking on the scan tool. I'm just waiting for the temperature to drop to to 113 or less, uh, no less than 95 Fahrenheit. So we want uh, between 95 and 113 in order to check the fluid level properly. Now the procedures will be relatively the same or similar in the U660E uh, as well and other Toyota uh, transmissions that do not have a dipstick on them. Now uh, if you're not sure as to what transmission you have on your Toyota vehicle you can have a look at the uh, at the VIN number on the driver's side door jam on the placard uh, you can see right here it says uh, AT for <laughs> automatic transmission and it says here U760E. Now these transmissions have a, a stopper or an, an overflow plug which sits uh, inside the transmission pan. So when the fluid level rises up, it's going to reach the uh, the top of the uh, the plastic stopper. So, so once the fluid level reaches the top of the plastic uh, stopper, uh, the, the fluid will uh, trickle down uh, inside the hole, and then you, you will have the the excess fluid. So now uh, the fluid level was just at uh, 113 uh, uh, a while ago. So uh, just waiting for it to reach 113, between 95 and 113, and then we should be okay to, uh, to, uh, to check the level. So now the fluid temperature dropped, so now it's okay to uh, <laughs> check the level now. So now, uh, with the engine running, uh, you take a six millimeter hex bit or, or Allen key and remove the, the overflow drain plug. They're both used uh, interchangeably. So now we're gonna remove the plug and drain if there's any excess fluid, you'll see the fluid draining out. So you have to wait until the fluid becomes a thin and steady stream 
until it trickles out and then that's how you know you are you are at the correct level so keep draining until a thin stream comes out so now a thin stream is about to come out now it's a, a trickling once it trickles uh, and then it means that the level uh, 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 is okay now you can see there were some uh, air bubbles because there was too much uh, fluid inside So now I'm just going to close it up. I will, uh, I will, I will see if I can put the torque specifications on the screen for you guys to torque this. We'll just wash everything down, and then uh, <laughs> you should be all good to go. I had the transmission overfilled. It was about 1.5 liters in total that came out. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and i'll see you guys next time have a good day and take care